Hello everybody, thank you for watching once again today. We're out here in the middle of the Sonoran Desert. I'm I'm out here doing a vlog, so uh, we've got a squirrel right behind our property and he's in our, our woodshed, so we don't want him to be chewing any wires or any cords or whatever he's going to be doing in there, so we're going to be trapping him out. But before that, i got to do a few chores, so let's get to it. Guys, if you don't already know, we breed chocolate labs for our business. It gives us a lot of income, an extra source of income, so we can do other projects and things around the house that we wouldn't otherwise be able to do. But we have like, I don't know, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we have like nine chocolate labs. And we, we breed puppies for our business and we sell them. And that gives us a lot of income, so I just wanted to make sure you guys knew what we were doing here, but... That's what we do. I actually got a project from a friend and then he wanted me to do his cow school for him. He got it butchered. Um, so he asked me to do his cow school. So this is what we got here. I finished, I'm almost finished with it. I just gotta put some peroxide on it. The peroxide is gonna give it that white look. So it's gonna look really clean and nice and it's gonna make sure it doesn't stink or anything like that. So you guys stay tuned. So you guys, we're gonna go ahead and start this fire here. So we got some flint in there, we got some twigs in there and we got some two by fours in there. We're gonna see if we can light it up with the flint and steel here. There we go, it's sliding up. Pretty cool. Let's see if it'll keep it. That's what I'm talking about, guys. It's looking pretty good. Pretty soon we'll be able to put the, um, the pot on with the skull, but for now we'll just let it sit there so we can get it pretty hot. Okay guys, that's what the skull is looking like right now, it's just in peroxide. Um, we're not going to be able to get the whole thing covered in it, so we're going to have to flip it about in 15 to 20 minutes to half an hour or so. But it's looking good right now, I'm pretty excited to see the results of this, this skull, but that's what it's looking like. So it's been a good 30 minutes guys, and the peroxide looks like it's working out really well. We're going to flip the cow head so then it can be evenly coated in peroxide here. Wow, look at that. It's looking nice. I'm really excited to see the buyer's face on this, or the my friend's face when he sees this cow skull. That looks pretty good. Flip like this. But, it's looking good. You can see all that meat that's coming off of it, and that's exactly what we want. We don't want it to smell at all. We want it to have a really nice looking white coat on it. Be glossy finish, and I think we're going to have just that. Okay guys, so we pulled him out of the solution and that's what he looks like, a really nice looking steer. Of course, we took off these horns so because it couldn't fit in the solution, but we'll just slide them back on. Let's see. It's pretty simple to tell which one is which. That one goes there. And that one goes there. Nice looking. 36 inch horns actually, so pretty good long horns. It's no long horn steer, but it's a steer nonetheless. We're going to glue a little bit of this together to make sure none of it comes undone because it just is what it is. This one's a little, this one's a little older, but otherwise he looks really good. And I just saw the squirrel run right into there. So I set the trap up, put a little bit of peanut butter on the pan. Who, who knows, we'll probably catch him in like, I think maybe half an hour to a full hour. We'll see. Okay. So y'all, the door's down. Um, pretty interesting. I'm really excited. This is actually the second 
rock squirrel we've had in our property. And only two, but we've caught both of them. And they've actually both been around this um, garden shed area. We don't want them to be under our shed because they're going to be wreaking all sorts of havoc on it. You can see they're coming down here. They're scraping stuff out. Um, there's probably going to be more than one of them down in this burrow here. Really excited. This is so cool. These little creatures are so cool, but we'll be doing catch and cook with them. Nothing's going to go to waste. Uh, yeah. So guys, I have to inform you of a heartbreaking incident that just took place. So what happened was I was uh, I brought the trap on the table, and then right when I set it down, somehow the squirrel managed to get out of the trap. So, so got to start all over again. And I set it right here, and hopefully we'll catch her again. If we can't, too bad, but hopefully this, this video will be titled, Squirrel Catch Clean Cook. Not, I caught a squirrel, but it got away. So guys, what just happened right now, um, I'm actually filming another video right now. This is just basically my daily vlog right now. Anyway, so my my dad just came in here and said there was a there was a rattlesnake in our dog's kennel. So right now I'm gonna run out there and I'm gonna get him killed. Here's the dad snake. He was in my dog's kennel, and I do not want that happening to any of my dogs. I don't want them to get bit by it. So I got the shovel, stuck it straight through between his head, and he was dead. We buried his head about a foot and a half under the ground, so there's no way that those dogs or anything like that um, can end up getting getting that venom in them and end up potentially dying or anything like that. So that's what we did. Here's a snake. I'm not sure how long he is. Uh, it's kind of slimy and it's not really nice, to say the least, but we got him taken care of. I was going to use Beam Commander. It's always good to have a gun. Um, as a second option out there, but the shovel is a very good option as well, just to stick it straight through them and that kills them pretty quickly. So guys, as a snake, it's pretty easy to skin these out. There's two ways to do them. You can basically, as a, as a lot of people, trappers call them, a case skin, uh, which is just basically just a tube style skinning. I'm not going to do that right now because I just can't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a slit right from back here and cut all the way up here. So we'll just cut through this, just split it through this, it's not going to be anything too exciting so I'll just set you up for a time lapse. Yeah. Okay guys, now what we're going to do is we're going to go from under this skin here, stick our finger under the knee, and just slide straight under the whole skin of that, the whole meat of that, rather, or that rattlesnake. And then you can see that you're just skinning, you're just de-skinning that rattlesnake. There's nothing more than that to it. And then you put your you can put your finger under it and then just slide the meat with the skin right off the meat. Really nice process. Really easy to do. And this way is the way I love to do it because it makes sure that you don't get any kind of flesh or fat on your hide or product there. So that whole thing is already skinned out for you. Look at that, that's like a four inch long hide there. Four inch wide hide rather. But really nice looking rattlesnake skin. I like the smaller ones better, they're a little prettier. But still, it's a rattlesnake skin. We'll try to do that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.